Mushy Mushy Pizza, it's Christopher London today. Boys, we're gonna play my favorite game, BS, on Netflix. Shout out to Howie. My version is gonna be a little scuffed, obviously. It's called Cap or Facts. Today, I wanna know if you guys know your facts, and if you don't know your facts, see how well you can cap. The first contestant today is gonna be Jeff. You're gonna be trying to fool these guys. I'm gonna give you a question. You're gonna try to answer it. Only he is gonna know the answer. And you guys, either you already know it, or you believe what he says is the answer. And it could be wrong, so if you're a good capper, you stay up here because all you need to do is fool one of these guys. Now, you guys will be playing for what's in this case, and in this case is $10,000. Don't believe me? Win it. Can we call Cap already? No, you can't call Cap already. All right, first question. What was the first toy to be advertised on television? A, Barbie doll. B, Mr. Potato Head. C, Yo-Yo. D, Hula Hoop. I know this answer. So say it, bro. B, Mr. Potato Head from Toy Story. One of my favorite movies. I learn fun facts about Disney stuff a lot of times. All right, so you guys are gonna write Zach. You're looking a little sussed out. Do you think you got it right, or is it Cap? I think he's overselling. So what I want you to do is write the word Cap or Facts and show it to me in five seconds. I do remember hearing something about Mr. Potato Head. Zach, I need to flip in three, two, one. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Cap. Jeff, you wanna tell him? It was facts. It was a fact, yes, that is correct. That means, Jeff, you got your first point now. Let's All you go. need is nine more points to get what's in that case. Moving on to the next question. What TV series showed the first interracial kiss on American network television? Was it A, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, B, Full House, C, Star Trek, D, Happy Days? So it is B, Full House. Care to explain to the rest of these guys? And Full House is one of the first episodes. It was like, what's that show with the... I forget what the show is. James, I would like to uh, call him Cap. Call him Cap. Why are you calling Cap? Interracial, Star Trek, they got aliens and stuff, and I think that's older than Full House. Zach. Correct answer is Happy Days. So you're writing Cap? Yeah. And Justin? I don't think I've seen a black person on Full House. Jeff, you wanna... The correct answer? was C, mm -hmm. Star Trek. Yes. James was correct. Let's go. Yeah. As a nerd, I know the nerds, but I was doubly correct. Jeff, unfortunately, that is all, and they called you Cap. James, come right up. Dump, floater, and wipe are terms used in which team sport? Today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including sports, festivals, concerts, and more. I hope you guys saw my vlog where LeBron James beat the all-time scoring record, and that was all thanks to SeatGeek. Those kind of experiences you can get from using SeatGeek. If you think about going to an NBA game, NHL, MLB is in season, right? You guys should use my promo code LSK so you can get $20 off your first purchase. And when you're on the app, make sure you're looking for those green dots. Green is good deals. Red are bad deals, so stay away from them red dots, okay? And again, make sure you guys use my promo code LSK for $20 off your first purchase. Thank you, SeatGeek, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back. A, volleyball, B, basketball, C, tennis, or D, netball? Volleyball, Chris. Never heard the word dump for basketball. Tennis, never heard the word wipe. Netball, I don't know if that's a real sport. So volleyball was a logical conclusion. Wow. What I need you guys to do is write in your answer right now. Zach, just go ahead, flip. You're, t you're saying cap? It's cap. Oh, we're all capping yeah. here. It's netball. James, yeah. you want to tell him the answer? It's volleyball. So James really? got everybody. I mean, it was Dude, right. I so he gets, he gets a point. These are good guesses, James. What awards has an EGOT winner won? A. Grammy. Chris, what is an EGOT? That's what you're gonna answer. A, Grammy, Emmy, Tony, Oscar. B, Emmy, Golden Globe, Oscar, Teen Choice. C, Oscar, Academy Award, Teen Choice, in a Golden Globe. D, Academy Award, Golden Globe, Oscar, and Teen Choice. Got it, okay. I'm gonna go with C. Now, the reason I went with C is because I actually realized that D had both Academy Award and, oh, C had that too, okay. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Did a little twisting on that one to really scramble your brain. James, they called him Cap. You want to tell him what the answer was? It was A. So, you guys all said Cap. You all got points. We're just going to go down the line. Zach, in the state of Georgia, it's illegal to eat what with a fork? A, fried chicken. B, chicken noodle soup. C, peaches. Or D, deviled eggs. Give you five seconds. How do you know the answer for this? 
Oh. The answer is C, peaches. Peaches, explain. Well, it's the peach state. I just feel like every state has like a weird rule about stuff that is like dear to them. James, you seem pretty resilient with your answer and saying fact, Justin, you're a little premature, I'll call on you, but it's okay. Two people said facts. If Jeff says fact, you're good. I got my peaches out in Georgia. Exactly. Called it cap. Oh, he called it cap. It's tough. The correct answer is fried chicken. What? Yeah, he was he was full of sh he's, he's full of it. Jeff's back up here. How you feeling? You think this case is yours? Yes. Oh, this is a good one. Which is the only American football team to go a whole season undefeated, including the Super Bowl? A, the New England Patriots. B, the Pittsburgh Steelers. C, Miami Dolphins. Or D, Green Bay Packers. Jeff, I'm gonna give you five seconds to think about this one. Patriots. He says Patriots, explain. They've won a bunch of Super Bowls, that's all I gonna say. What do you say to that? Oh, we're just going straight cap. Jeff, do you want to tell him if you're a cap or not? We know he's capping. Yeah. We know I he's capping. I don't want to hear him talk. Packers. It was the Dolphins, baby. It was, it was, it was the, the Dolphins. Dolphins. <laughs> he, said, he said Packers. Zach, for that, I'm literally not giving you, I'm gonna give a tiebreaker <laughs> to uh, Justin and James. Justin, you don't have a point yet, so James, come right back up here, man. Justin needs to get himself a point to get up here. He needs to get it right. What was the first feature length animated movie ever? A, Steamboat Willie. B, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. C, Toy Story. Or D, Fantasia. Chris, we're gonna go with B, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Okay, explain. It's old, low frame rate, poorly drawn art. Oh. By today's standards. Yeah, if you guys wanna go ahead and write your answers. He says that's a fact. Justin. Oh, he thinks it's Cap, James. Jeff, comes down to you. Nope, there's no erasing. You need to flip. You need to flip. He said it's a fact. James, you want to tell him what it is? Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Yeah. It is a Steamboat fact. Steamboat Willie was not full length. Oh, yes. So James gets another. Next question. What sport is dubbed as the king of sports? A, fox hunting. B, tennis. C, soccer. D, football. We're gonna go with C, soccer. It's really popular. Factor cap, people. This man's been under, he's under a lot of pressure. This could secure the case. How are you copying in this video, dude? He's saying facts, Jeff. He's saying cap, James. Jeff, the answer was soccer. Come on, Jeff, the biggest sport in the world. Come on, Jeff. He's gotten two. Ladies and gentlemen, he takes the lead. Secure Let's the case, go. James. Let's go. Area 51 is located in which U.S. state? A, Nevada. B, Colorado. C, Arizona. D, New Mexico. It's in D, New Mexico. Explain to the people why that's a fact. Roswell, New Mexico, where the aliens crashed. Zach, you said fact. We have two it is Cappers. Roswell, New Mexico. It's on Tony Hawk Pro Skater. James, do you want to say if you were capping or not? I was uh, facting. No, I was capping. <laughs> He was capping. <laughs> it is Nevada. Yes. So James, you're still up because oh. you fooled Zach. So oh. he gets a point. And then James takes the lead for three. Bang. In well. comics, who's the first Avenger to quit on the team? A, Thor. B, Captain America. C, Iron Man. Or D, Hulk. Chris, we're gonna go with B, Captain America. I watched the movie, that dude double-crossed Tony Stark, and I think the movies are based off the comics. Zachary, you said Cap, explain. Yeah, that ain't right. He's saying you're Cap. Has Jeff said facts once this video? I don't know, man. Justin, this determines it all. They all said you're Cap and James, you wanna tell him? I was Cap'n. He was Cap'n, it was the Hulk. The Hulk, yeah. The Hulk left the team first. So let's do a quick score check. James, you locked in with three. Oh, Jeff, you're back up. Yes. He is back up with four. What country has the most natural lakes? A, Australia. B, the United States. C, Canada. Or D, Russia. I'm going with C, Canada. Can you explain to the people why that's a fact? I'm not sure, but that was my assumption. Zach. He's an idiot. He's an idiot, it's a cap. Okay, well Justin, what do you think? I'm lying. James, it all comes down to this. All cap. Jeff, you wanna tell him? The answer was, uh, Zach's an idiot, cause it's C, Canada. It is Canada, he was not capping. Jeff gets himself Let's a go. point. Jeffrey, what is the loudest animal on planet Earth? A, a tiger pistol shrimp. B, a sperm whale. C, a howler monkey. D, a hyena. B, a sperm whale. Tell the people why that's a fact. Because the sonic boom when they talk in the water, very loud. Justin, is that true? 
I think it's true. James, what do you think? That's a fact, Chris. That is a fact. Zach. I actually think it is too. Jeff, you want to tell him? Burnwell is the loudest animal. He is on a roll, ladies and gentlemen. That is another point for Jeffrey. What two countries have not missed one of the modern day Olympics? A, China or Italy. B, Greece and Australia. C, Australia and the US. Or D, Greece and Italy. A, China and Italy. China has been in every Olympics and that was the only option with China in it. Zachary. That's Cap. He said that's Cap. James. He said that's Cap. Justin. He said that's Cap. Jeff. Sorry to tell you guys, that was Cap. <laughs> that was Cap, he's capping. It was uh, we all knew he was Greece capping. and Australia. We okay. We're gonna ask James, he's back up here. Run How many it. hearts does an octopus have, James? Is it A, two, B, three, C, four, or D, one? It is A, two. Tell the people. Oh, I just knew that. He just knew that. Is that a fact or a cap? You guys know that octopuses' eight arms all have their own brain, too? They all act independently of one another. I need an answer in three, two, one. Fact, fact, a clean sweep. It was cap. It was cap. <laughs> it was three. James is a great liar. He gets one. He starts the streak again. What is the most visited tourist attraction in the entire world? Is it A, Eiffel Tower? B, Statue of Liberty? C, the Great Wall of China? Or D, the Colosseum? I'm glad you asked, Chris. It is C, the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China is significantly bigger. It's very long. So there's a lot more opportunities to visit it. China is also a bigger country, more airports than France, Italy, or the United States. Jeffrey, let me see what you got. You said cap. All right, Justin, the deciding factor. <laughs> they was, all said it's cap. James. It was cap. <laughs> he was capping his ass off. Yes, it was the Eiffel Tower. Which means, Justin, you finally got your chance. <sighs> Let's go. There are animals that exist with more than one brain. Justin, our first ever true or false question. I'm gonna go true, Chris. Um, there's a lot of animals that exist in the world, a lot of possibilities for a lot of genetic modification. People got answers all at the same time. That's a fact. He said that's Cap. He said that's a fact. Justin. It's a fact. It is a fact. We're not letting Jeff back up there, baby. But Justin, you get yourself a point. Who made the third most three-pointers in the playoffs in NBA history? Is it A, Klay Thompson, B, LeBron James, C, JJ Redick, or D, Kevin? Durant. I'm going Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson is never the primary shooter on his team, but they have made a lot of playoff runs. Zach, I'm gonna see your board first. Cap. Jeff. Also Kevin. I think he's facting. He says that's a fact. Justin, you wanna tell James? James, it is Cap. Mm -hmm. It is a Cap. Wow, Justin. What was the answer? LeBron. Steals it. It is LeBron James. Casual. Justin with two. You just need one more to tie with James now. $10,000. Did I, did I forget to mention that? What is the only food that cannot go bad? A, dark chocolate. B, peanut butter. C, canned tuna or D, honey? I'm gonna go D, honey, Chris. It's a fact because honey is a natural sweet mm. from bees and the way that bees make it, make it so it doesn't go bad at all because if it does, then them as a species would be chalked. I don't think that makes any sense, but I think it is fact. That a fact, a fact, a fact. It is indeed a fact. He was not Captain Justin just tied the lead with three. What U.S. city is the sunniest major city and sees more than 320 sunny days in a year? Is it A, Phoenix, B, Miami, C, San Francisco, or D? Austin. I'm gonna go B Miami, Chris, because Miami geographically is closer to the equator, which receives the most sunlight. Is that man telling the truth? Oh, that's such cap. You wanna tell him the answer? It's cap. Let's go! Phoenix? It was Phoenix. Phoenix, right? It was Phoenix. Zach is going to be the last contestant. Otherwise, there will be a two-way tie between James and Justin that will battle it out. You need four to win. I got that. I'm gonna have to get them all right because if nobody else is going up, then they're all just gonna say cap every time. That's a right. fact. That's, that's a fact. That's, that's a fact. That's definitely that's a, right. That's a fact. That's a, that is indeed a fact. Okay, Zach. William Shakespeare invented the word vomit. True or false? We're gonna go true. Tell us why. He just invented a lot of words. Is he the one that invented with the people? Jeff, he says that's cap. Justin, he also says that cap. And James, you wanna get that cap broom out? Cap sweep. Zach, you wanna tell him? Suck it. It's a fact, bang! Zach, 
gets Damn. one. <laughs> Zachary, you need three more to get this case. Which of these is not an infinity stone? A, reality stone. B, space stone. C, life stone. Or D, soul stone. Dude, all right, let's think. I need you to say the answer in reality three, stone. two, one. B, space stone. Tell us why. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't even sound right. Yeah, space stone doesn't even. I think this is a fact, but I still gotta go cap. Oh, he's calling your cap, Jeff. He's saying it's a fact, Justin. You just have to fool one person, Zach. You wanna tell? And I did. It's actually the life stone. <laughs> yeah, the life why stone is not that? an None infinity stone. Zach there. was capping. He gets a point because of Jeff. And Zach has two. And listen, it's just a tie between Justin and James, Jeff. So you're just done. Well, now, now, Jeff, now you've opened the door. I love it. I love it. What is the heaviest organ in the human body? A, brain. B, liver. C, skin. Or D, the heart. Here's my thinking on this. Not the liver, not the heart. Skin is the largest organ in the body. I'm gonna go C, skin, because it's literally the largest organ in the body. Justin, it's cap. James, saying it's cap. Jeff, also said it's cap. I don't believe this is true, but it says liver. Let's go! So, Zach, I'm sorry. James and Justin, we have a tiebreaker, ladies and gentlemen. Zach could not join that tiebreaker. It's unfortunate. So, this is how it's gonna work. You guys are gonna go head to head. No help from the sideline. James, you had the most points today. Would you like to go first or second? First. Since you're going first, I want you to decide how many questions. It has to be three or higher. How many do you want each? Three. James, tell Justin here, what types of food holds the world record for being the most stolen around the globe? A, Wagyu beef. B, cheese. C, coffee. Or D, chocolate. Chris, the answer is D, chocolate. Tell him why. Chocolate is a delicacy. It's romantic. People gotta impress their girl. So like a factor, is he just over here yapping, dude? He is Cap'n James. Were you Cap'n? I was Cap'n. <laughs> he was Cap'n, it was cheese. People were getting that cheese. And James, Money. it's okay. Now you take the seat and he's gonna go next. That was one point, okay. Justin, what is the oldest soft drink in the United States? Is it A, Coca-Cola, B, Pepsi, C, Dr. Pepper, or D, Canada Dry? The answer is A, Coca-Cola, Chris. Coca-Cola is one of the first soft drinks ever invented, especially in fast food restaurants. It's been like the staple for being the most known ever since. James, he says cap. <laughs> Literally just said a bunch of words. <laughs> <laughs> That's cap. Yeah, that, that was cap. Okay, you got a point there. All right, come back up. Which celebrity burnt down her home gym with candles? A, Kim Kardashian. B, Lady Gaga. C, Zendaya or D, Britney Spears. It's B, Chris, Lady Gaga. Tell Justin why that's the truth. Kim Kardashian's too smart to do that. Zendaya also seems a little too young to do that. And Lady Gaga's pretty crazy, so it was a toss up between her and Britney. And he says Lady Gaga, Justin. He's going cap. I was, it was indeed Britney. It was indeed Britney Spears, that was a cap. Come on guys, right. Lady Gaga's scary, not crazy. Hold on, I'm getting a call from the producers. Hello. Oh, okay. Wow. Justin, this is the last question. You get this right, you win $10,000. But if you get this wrong, James, you win $10,000. Oh, let's go, I'm getting my cap ready. You just need to know and fool this man. And James, to win this money, you also have to write the right answer. Oh, I got you. They both get it wrong and me and Jeff split. Absolutely not. Justin, for $10,000, what is the highest grossing video game franchise to date? A, Mario, B, Pokemon, C, Call of Duty, or D, Street Fighter. This decides it all. If Justin gets this right and convinces James, he wins. Okay, Justin, what is the answer? The answer is A, Mario. That's Don't cap, because there's no microtransactions in Mario. It's Call of Duty. Ladies Thanks. and gentlemen, for the first time ever, there is no winner. The answer was Pokemon. <laughs> So I get to keep this $10,000. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this a thumbs up, subscribe to these guys. Until next time.